I've got no clue what I'm doing, so I think do you need to set up a room or I'll set up a uh, friends only room. How about that? Okay. And I am it's loading right now. I'm up. How do I join it? Uh just go fishing? Yeah, I think so. This is going to end up being more of a tutorial than a gaming video. Right. Hey, whatever works. That was weird. You appeared right in front of me. Then you disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> well, my computer didn't crash yet, so that's a good thing. Yeah, mine's still working. Find Santa's sleigh. Oh, it looks like there's a Christmas present over here. Where are at? Uh, right over here in front of this uh, garage. Oh, yeah. It's see it now. I'm going to try opening it, see if it does anything. Alright. I got Squid Pro Quo Blaster Pack. Looks like fireworks. Might be. How'd you open it? I walked up to it and it gave me an action to press E. Yes, we pro low blast. Interesting. I don't remember anything of what I'm doing, so we'll see what happens. I don't know how that goes. You should have seen me last night. Oh, I got something. Blacktail Shiner. Have you got the quest stuff over on your left hand side? Uh maybe? I don't know. It said find Santa's sleigh. Travel to White Moose. Okay. Um there's let me see if you can bring it up. If you hit escape. Oh, it go just said missions. I completed a count a uh, challenge. Yeah. You go to missions when you bring up escape. There's one called Lone Star Exploration. And it uh, tells you okay. the different things to do. And you hit track mission and it puts it All up right. there for you. Open the fish menu. You remember how to do that? I don't remember how to do anything. All right, hang on. I'll, I'll see if I can remember myself, and I'll tell you how to reel this thing in. Oh, I think I found it. It's kind of giving me a tutorial. All right. I guess this is just telling you what fish are in the lake. Yeah. They made all these updates and you can't fall in the water yet? Right. Seems like you could at least walk around in the edge of the water. Yeah, like get some waders or something. Yeah, and you might be able to on other lakes, just depending on what's fish. Yeah, that's true. Maybe it's some uh, upgrade you can buy later in the game. Right, or it opens once you get to a certain level or something. You fishing with a lure, or are there fish jumping out there? Um, there's fish jumping. Mine's... I'm fishing with a uh, casting spoon, but there are fish jumping too, so...
Is there any way to cast a bobber farther, or is it just kind of lob itself into the water? I think it just kind of lobs itself out there. I think I got a casting spoon or something like that. I need to figure out how to put it on. Because there's all sorts of fish jumping over by those lily pads. Yeah. There's fish jumping around where I'm at right now, too. But you watch. I won't be able to catch one. It looks like one just jumped near your line. For my yeah, view, anyways. One, one jumped right about oh, where I got my one. casting spoon is. Nothing to my end, anyway. Nice. Ooh, a trophy bullgill. A, a trophy bluegill. Blue huh. That thing is fat. Nice. Oh yeah, they get fat. Am I supposed to be keeping them or releasing them? Uh, what's your uh, what's your fish keeper look like? It's right down below the weather. Uh, is it Upper fish hut M? What's the weight it can hold? 15.4 pounds. I'd keep them, because then when you go out, you get the money and stuff for them, too, I think. All right. Yeah, I got 3. I'm not exactly sure. Seven, 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 I so usually far. keep them until I get full. Then I go out and come back in, since this is a free lake. Been here for three days trying to fill this one I got. When we started fishing those other bigger lakes, I got a bigger fish keeper, and mine will hold 154 pounds. Yeah, that's a lot of bluegill. Yeah. <laughs> My biggest catch so far is 66.1 pounds. Nice. What was that? Some fish I caught in Canada it took me about an hour to reel his ass in. <laughs> Can't even remember what it was. Walleye or something big, huge. I definitely remember having a some kind of lure before. Oh, looks like I got two different kinds of fishing poles. Yeah, if you uh like go hit numbers one through five, if you've got any more loaded, it'll. It'll automatically put them in your slot. So if I'm like on the dock and I just hit two, it'll switch my fishing pole? Yeah, it should. If you've got one in that spot. Alright. Now let's see if I can get this thing snagged in the weeds. Not that easy to snag. It was like you snack. <laughs> you did? Yeah, not bad though. It came right out. I like the fact you can throw across other people and it doesn't mess you up. At least it didn't used to. I don't know if it does now. Well, we can try it. It's true. You remember how to bump time forward? Nope. Alright, let me. Once I get this reeled in, I'll look at the fishing forecast and see what time. You need to move it to, and I can tell you how to do it. Hey, I just caught some wound up fishing line and it gave me loot. <laughs> hey. <laughs> First time I've seen that. How do you set the hook with a lure? Um, right click. Oh, 
Oh, that was a bad cast. See, it says prime fishing is about, starts about 5 p.m. I don't know, I say we just go with what we got right now. Yeah, just kind of learning it again. Yeah. Still see him jumping out there, so yeah. we've got to be there. You can adjust how fast you reel by the mouse but or the roller on the mouse. Oh, sweet! I got some horn wart. Hey, Never won't let me keep it though. Work. Oh, really? That's because you're cleaner. You cleaned it out of the lake. I caught some backlash, is what I got. <laughs> that seems new. I don't remember. Real yeah, I don't weeds remember before. any of that. Yeah, me neither. That's the good bass, the way he's fighting. Oh, I can see him fighting on my screen. I was going to cast on top of him. <laughs> nice looking fish. It looks tiny from my screen. Yeah, it's not real big. It's only 13 inches long and 1.165 pounds. Well, he'd been bigger than that the way he was fighting. Is there any best retrieval method method for these spoons, or just stop? What and I go normally or? do is I throw them out there and just reel them to a slow reel, roll down on your roll button until it gets to the one arrow pointing up, and then I just reel them slowly back in, constant reel. All right. I mean, I'm sure there is different methods you can use, like stop and go or stuff like that. It's just, I guess, whatever your preference is. I think I just cast it right on top of you. Alright, I don't think it'll matter. Do you get my fish? Probably. That's Pickerel. I tried to hit mine, but it jumped away. Why well, reel it in, you know, as close as I can before I pick it up out of the water? But I've had them hit right here at the dock. Oh. oh, yeah? Yeah. I think I had one bite earlier, but I didn't set the hook right. Right.
trophy white crappy. Good experience. Got a 43 experience for that. Uh, toss one off the other side of the dock and see what happens. All right. Yeah, if you uh, go out toward the middle and reel back in, you should have some decent luck. They also added a new feature. You can pull up the map of the lake, like once you've reeled your line in, and it'll show you the water depths and stuff. The darker blue it is, the deeper the water. All right, I'll give it a try after I reel this in. All right. Oh, I got one. Nice. Doesn't seem very big. It's all money and all experience, though. Bluegill. Oh, found bluegill ain't bad. Oh, it shows you what I catch. Yeah, down. If you look on the lower left, like when I, I'll tell you next time I catch something, it'll tell you what it is once I land it. No, I won't catch So I go to the map and then where? If you hit M, it should bring up like, looks like he's holding a tablet and it'll show the map of the lake. And the darker blue the map is, is the, uh, is the, um, deeper the water. Okay. Like you see all the way at the top, where that little sliver of dark blue is. Yeah, there's like a little hole at the end of the right at the yeah, top of the lake. Yeah, it's uh, I don't know how to catch them yet, but they say that's where the majority of the small white buffalo or whatever they're called stay. Like I said, I don't know, you know, how to catch them yet or what I need to use. Yeah. I bet you could probably find it on YouTube. Oh yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> I just casted it like three feet in front of me. Oh, I do that quite a bit. I just threw mine up on land. Trying to catch some birds? I guess. Told me I was as unsuccessful. Try again. Look on know. the lower left. Should tell you I caught a 0.6 pound grass pickerel. I didn't see anything pop up. Huh. I don't know why. Hmm. I think that's the only lake I've ever fished. Really? How much? Uh, how much cash do you have up in your game? Like if you hit escape. Up underneath your screen name or your name. Uh, give me a second, I'll tell you. All right. Oh, that wasn't good. I wonder if you can get hooked. <laughs> I accidentally right-clicked and it. I almost hit myself in the face with my lure. Yeah, that would be interesting. I got nine things that look like coins, and then twenty-two thousand one hundred fifty-three that looks like money. Yeah, you got a bit of money. Compared well, to me, well, I, I don't think I've ever spent it. I only got 3966. Yeah, I think I've only ever fished here, and I only own two rods. Gotcha.
Uh, looks like you disappeared. Oh, I'm out at the... I'm in the inventory screen. Oh, okay. That's it weird. It still now. shows your tag, but it doesn't show your body. Yeah, you're back now. Yeah. There's a couple other places I like. I just don't have a lot of money to get to them at this point. How much does it cost to fish at a different place? Uh, hang on and I'll show you how to tell. You know, escape out of here and I'll show you how to tell. Oh, this seems like a good fish. Oh, grass, grass pickerel. Picker. Yeah. All right, if you hit escape and then leave up at the top. Click on it. Yep. And are you sure you want to leave? Okay. It'll tell you how much experience you got and then the money you have that you gained from this little short trip. Alright, I see a globe and it's got some places. Um, Rocky Lake isn't too bad. It's in Colorado. Yep. Yeah. And does it say whether you can go there or not? Yeah, I can go to Rocky Lake or Mudwater River. Alright, let's see if I've got enough to get a license at uh, Rocky Lake. Hang on. Is the star with a number next to it, next to your tag, your level? Yes. I think I can go to uh, Rocky Lake if you want to try that out. Let me see. Uh, let me see some. All right. Go to a uh, shop, and then you'll see uh, licenses. Uh, okay. Go down to Colorado. Yep. The advanced license lets you keep everything you catch. On your basic license, you can only keep certain kinds. Okay. But what I would do is just get the one day Rocky or Colorado license. So I get. Like, what, 24 hours of gameplay there? Yes. Yes. It tells you when it expires. And mine expires 1 5 2020 at 10 41 p.m. So I guess you only keep it 24 hours total, even if you're not online. Yeah, license duration implies real time. Ah, that's not too bad, I guess. So then you go back to your map, click on Rocky Lake. Okay. And you, uh, first off, before we go there, um, see, uh, if you click on fish species, it'll tell you what's there. And I'm looking yeah. to see if I've got the bait to fish with. You click on the fish and it'll show you what it, what it'll bite on. What's travel cost? Do you have how to... much it costs you to go to Colorado. Ah, oh, so you have to buy the license and home, then travel yeah, there? Your, yeah, your home base is Lone Star Lake, so that you have to pay your travel cost. That's like a bait and switch. Kinda. So if I traveled See. there and then I wanted to go back to Lone Star Lake before my 24 it hours It doesn't cost up. you anything to go back, I don't think. Okay. Yeah, you'd need to travel back to... You'd have to pay to travel back to, I believe. But to travel back to your home lake, it doesn't cost you anything. So if I wanted to go back here, like, in 12 hours, I'd have to pay $2,000 again? Possibly. I can't remember how that works. Well, I better catch a lot of fish. Right.
Well, it looks like I had to pay $2,000 again, so that sucks. Yeah. I see all the fish you caught now. I just came in and shows four fish that you caught. Yeah. I got something on that lure I bought. Nice. It's fighting pretty good, too. Pulling some drag. If you want to increase or lower your drag, use the plus and minus on your keypad. Uh, I don't think I want to. It's going up into the orange. This thing got to be big. He's not coming in. Might be. There are He's some pulling line from me. Lower your drag. How did you say I lower it? Minus on your keypad. Alright. If it's going into the orange, you're using too much drag. Alright, yeah, right now Let it's... Let him wear himself out a little bit. It's just barely, uh... Eh, uh, he's still... Every once in a while he's going into the orange, but mostly it's just green. Okay. I mean, I don't know what this thing is, but he's 137 feet out right now. Yeah, I'm watching him. I can see him swimming all around. Oh, man, it broke. Broke? Yeah, my line broke. That blows. Yeah, that was big, whatever it was. Next time, lower your drag down some more. Well, I had it lowered and it was in the green, and all of a sudden it started spiking up into the red, and I tried to lower it some more, and I didn't get it in time. Gotcha. Damn, it says uh, on mine you got the line bitten off. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Damn, I ain't never seen that before. Alright, I guess I gotta re rig this thing. Um, probably gotta. Might have lost your lure. Yeah, I did. That's what you were using. That sucks. You go all the way home to get it. I bought five of them, so <laughs> oh, I got okay. four more. But four more. I'm pissed. I want to see what that fish was. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He's, he's still out there. Yeah. Uh, he's not going to bite again. I gave him a toothache. You'd be surprised. In my pond in Florida where I live, I had a pond at my house. I was catching fish that still had hooks in their mouth from the day before. Oh, yeah. Where the, you know, the line would break or whatever, and I'd go out fishing the next day and catch the damn, catch the damn fish with the hook still in his mouth where I broke the line the day before. At least I was able to salvage my hook. I was kind of looking forward to see what that was. Well, now I think I'm stuck on the bottom. Um. Hmm. Where are you thrown out to? Toward the uh, middle? Uh, kind of more towards you. I see where your line's going in. Is it just kind of hanging up when you go to reel it? Yeah, it's it's stuck. All right. Um, just try putting your putting the tip of your rod like down in toward the water. 
and see if you can pull it straight out instead of up. Bobber ain't doing nothing out here in the middle. I was just going to tell you that definitely must have bit off my line because I tried reeling it in and my drag was set to nothing and wouldn't even reel my lure in. Damn. Yeah, I think I'm going to lose this one, too. It's not budging. Reel some line back out. You know how you scroll up to reel faster, scroll down, yeah. and it actually goes in reverse. Reel down some and see if you can loosen it, and then try to pull it again and see what it... Ah, she's stuck. Can I walk Careful around? Lead. Like, where yeah, it gets stuck in the trees? To. Nah, I don't know. I... Hmm, I don't know. This is the path, right? There's like a yeah. path, right? Yeah, it's not letting me do it. Apparently all that likes these flies are young rainbow and young cutthroat trout. Well, whatever hit this lure was big. <laughs> yeah. The first time, anyways. Now I just got a log or something. <laughs> Wonder how much you get if you pull up a log. <laughs> switch mine to some mayflies to see if anything else will hit it. There's... I don't know if it's C, one of them will cut the line so you can at least get started fishing again. Yeah, I think I want to try that. If you hit F1, it'll bring up a menu and you can scroll down to the action you want and it'll tell you what to hit to get it. B. Break the line. Your line was bitten off by a log. Is that what it says? It's just bitten off, so... Uh -huh. Maybe you hooked a snapping turtle. And That's what I was just going to say. It must have been a turtle or something. <laughs> we hooked a turtle in my pond one night. My cousin was down, and he reeled that thing for about an hour to get it up to the bank. And my uncle had a steel rake and went to reach out behind him to rake him up on the bank. And he was standing in the water almost and stuck the end of that rake out probably six foot from the bank. And when he went to go down in the water, he hit the turtle on the back. And we could see the head of the turtle was up on land. It was a huge snapping turtle. Jeez. As soon as he touched that turtle with that rake, he snapped that line like nobody's business, though. I wonder if you catch anything on a casting spoon out here. Don't seem to like my mayflies too much. Now the bobber hadn't moved as soon as I started reel. It said strike was done too early. I'm so pissed that I lost that first fish. Yeah, that would have sucked. Woulda, it did. Yeah, well, woulda if it had been me too. So. That's where I went with the woulda. Try my casting spoon. I bet that fish would have paid for my whole trip. <laughs> Probably. Where you're standing at, fish, you see that log that's sticking out to your left? Yeah. Fish between that log and that rock. You're or if you're using your jig, fish between the log and you.
Hmm. I see what's out here, but I'm still using my flies. As soon as my damn bobber hit the water, it started walking around. Oh, yeah? So I have to see what's out there. Right here. I don't remember fish jumping in the last release that we played. I don't either. Colorado Golden Trout. When I can afford it, we'll go to the Everglades. Once you get to level 10, I think it is, you can go there. You can make some money there. I gotta start catching some fish if I ever want to level up. Right here ain't a bad spot, apparently. Aren't you right over here by me? Yeah, I just casted it out and I was on the bottom, though. Yeah, right there around that um, algae patch is where I've caught my last. And they give you decent money and some pretty good experience. You're fishing the spoon? No, I'm just fishing flies and a bobber. How are you casting it out so far? Maybe we need to talk about that for the next release, put it in. Maybe that way you can share echo between friends. Yeah. You have a do you what rod is one you have? Is it like a the Omni float or uh, look at it in a little while. Yeah. I imagine it's probably like the beginning rod or something like that. I don't remember buying much tackle when we were playing before. Okay. Now that I said something about this spot, I ain't got a nibble. A cutthroat trout. Not bad. 